All right, guys, I've been wanting to make this video for a while to show everybody the right way to adjust the height and the dampening on Rev9 coilovers. Before we begin, I want to go through the obvious here and uh, let you know that this is not a brand new kit. This is a used kit. This came off of a customer's car um, and it will be dirty and it will have scratches. So this is not a new kit, okay? This is not how the kit comes brand new in the box, okay? So please keep that in mind. And the reason why I want to make this video is it seems that a lot of people are confused on how you actually adjust these. And I'm not talking about just the actual dampening of the coilover. I'm talking about um, adjusting the right height. So we've actually had a lot of customers adjust the right height using these two um, adjusters. And this is actually not the right way. And so what they do is, is they use these spanner wrenches and they put one here and then they put one on the other side like this and they actually break these loose and then to lower the car what uh what a lot of customers do is they actually spin this one around until the spring compresses and that's not the right way to adjust the height on the rev coil coilovers all that does is basically ruins your preload it gives you a really bad ride and it doesn't give you enough range um, in order for adjustment. So that's not the right way of adjusting these coilovers for height. What you have to do is actually adjust the height using this ring. And so what you do with these rings is you break them loose. And this one um, I've actually already broken loose. So all you do is you put the adjustment wrench on here like that, like a hook. All you do is you take it and you give it a turn, just like that. Okay, so all you do is you turn it, just like that. And once you have this loose, you spin the whole bracket like this. Okay, and so what I'm doing right now is I'm es essentially extending the shock. By extending it, I'm making it longer. So by making it longer, what I'm doing is making the right height go up. If I wanna make the right height go down, I turn this ring farther in, just like that. And then I spin this lower mount in as far as it'll go and it looks like these right now are actually maxed out so this is as as low as it'll go so that is actually fully compressed so 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 that's the maximum lowering on this particular kit and if i want to if i want to raise it up i spin it the other way okay and then once it's at the height that I want, I simply turn this ring all the way in and I tighten it using the, the, the wrench right there. Okay, and what you would want to do is measure this part and just uh, have it be the same distance on the other side. And then that way you can make sure that both of your sides are just evenly. Okay? Okay, so now that I showed you guys how to adjust the fronts, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the rears. I'm gonna show you how to adjust the rears on two different styles. This particular setup is a divorced setup. That means the springs and the shocks are separate, okay? So on a setup like this, the way that you adjust the height is you adjust it by uh, the springs here. So what you do is you actually unlock these rings and you move them up or down. So if you move them up, the car goes higher. If you move them down, the car goes lower. That's how you adjust any coilover or any Rev9 coilover uh, that has them divorced like this, okay? 
So that's for a divorce setup. For cars that have the rear spring over the coilover, meaning they look like the ones on the front, where this is actually over the spring, or sorry, where this is over the shock. If you had that in the rear, then you would adjust the rear height the exact same way as you adjust the front height. So you would have to loosen this adjustment ring uh, and then move it up. And then once you move it up, you, you basically take these lower mounts and you spin them. And you spin them down to make the shock longer. You spin them up to make the shock shorter. And that's how you, you lower the car. So if you make the whole shock shorter, the car lowers. You make the shock longer and the car goes up. Okay, so I just want to show one more thing on these coilovers. Is, is you'll notice on the rear, these have two holes in the lower mounts. And so if you look into these holes, you see that you can see the thread of the shock in these holes. And so uh, what you do here is uh, when you lower, I'm oh, sorry, when you raise your car up and you, and you turn these mounts here, so it comes all the way down here. What you want to do is make sure that you have enough thread uh, that's at, at least visible in here, but preferably up to about here because you don't want the shock to pop out of the lower mount. And we have seen customers that have wanted to raise their car up as much as possible and they leave no threads here. And this lower mount literally comes off of the shock and, and breaks in half. So you don't want that, okay? So you always wanna make sure that you can see thread here. And ideally, you would want it to be up, up to somewhere past uh, this hole up here to make sure that you have enough of the lower mount on the shock to make sure that it does not come apart. So while we're here, let me also show you how you're just dampening on this. So here you see soft and hard so for soft you simply turn it left one two three four five and every time you do it you feel it kind of popping into place and so you could adjust these 32 way either fully soft is 32 all the way to the left fully hard or firm is 32 all the way to the right, and you can adjust that based on your preferences. Those are the fronts. And in the rear, you adjust it using that adjuster right there. So you do the same way, you just turn it left or right. So right now I'm going all the way soft because I'm going counterclockwise and clockwise is firm. So you can adjust front or, or rear independently, depending on what kind of setup you want. And uh, that would be it. This is um, a kit that we're actually rebuilding for a customer. So here we have the old lower mounts. We're gonna be replacing them with these brand new ones. So we're going to be removing the old mounts, installing the new ones, and then having it go back on the car.